that's a gurgle. <laughs> that's why the video started. She got me laughing. Oh. You didn't tell me where to start. Okay, that. so today um, we are clearing our land again because this is a very big project and we're in the woods, woods this time around. Normally we're out somewhere in the open, but today we're surrounded by trees and brush. And so we're taking our CP560 uh, Bomalite brush cutter, cutter brush cutter, mower, whatever word you prefer awesome. to use. Anyway, we're really happy with it and we just wanted to show y'all some more action shots with it. Um, we've been planning this video for a while, but things have come up and of course we keep pushing it off but we're like we have to get this video out and show y'all how awesome it is and like why you should get one so that's what this video is for So, Ashton showing the angle right here where the tree pusher uh, from this angle right here. You can see the, the blade sticks out probably almost six inches past the deck. So, which one thing makes it a little dangerous if you don't know where you're mowing. You know, you can catch fence, metal, that kind of stuff. But it hits the, the tree pusher first, which kind of pushes in the right direction. And the blades, which actually aren't sharp, they're dull. Um, but they claim because of the shape that it's hit so many thousands of times a second. Um, so because of that, and there's actually four blades instead of like a bush hog where there's only two. And as you can see, this, I mean, the biggest thing we mowed right in here is probably a couple inches, but it'll easily take down four inch stuff. No problem at all. And uh, some more things I like about it is unlike a bush hog that cuts because it's sharp because this thing hits so fast and so many times it kind of fragments the little stumps and you don't have to worry about puncturing your tires and uh also once you push a tree over you can just mow right over top of it and just kind of turns it into a mulch not quite as good as a forestry mulcher but for something half the call as a pto forestry mulcher just a fraction of the cost of an actual hydraulic mulcher for like a skid steer. You can kind of see it. It does a pretty good job. Like here's a stump. You can see the stump right there, how it just breaks them apart. Just fragments them so you don't have to worry about it. And it'll mow right flush with the ground too if you want it to. But you don't have to worry about it hurting your tires. Of course, rose bushes and all that stuff are no problem whatsoever, which my bush hog always had a problem with that. 
and if you ever see the back of our bush hog on any of our videos it is bent all to pieces um it's a smaller five foot land pride we got with our first tractor and i grew up with old school tough bush hogs and you could mow trees down and that kind of stuff but uh new bush hogs are not made for that but the cp560 oh yeah no problem it'll do everything your old bush hog did and more um old brush piles from where we cleared this um, I didn't cut all the rest of this, mainly because it's right on the creek, but those are uh, what we call sweet bubbies. I don't know the proper name for them, but that's what they've always been called here. And uh, I'm fond of them, so I didn't want to mow those down. So once I saw them, I quit mowing along the creek. Yep. That's about it. Um, again, we're not sponsored by... You, you still fit in? Oh, you turned it away. Um, we're not sponsored by Balma Light. Um, I just looked at their stuff and thought it was uh, real well built and it's kind of a niche that i don't know of any other competitor competitor that fits in that market so uh let's say with you know i paid for the equipment i just bought it you know just as a customer um no kind of incentives there other than the fact that i'm just really impressed with it and like it and the so, fact that it fits like all the needs our farm stuff need you know? yes so this would have been impossible with my little bush hog but this is just 10 15 minutes and you could easily mow down like all these little trees right here we didn't get they're two or three inches i could easily take all that stuff down um even th that one larger sweet gum right there even stuff like that's no problem for that thing at all and uh but in this case we didn't really that's not really what we were after but it does a good job fantastic so we're tickled to death with it It's awesome. <laughs> this video is still playing. It wants.